Peabody next goes to KTVU in Oakland, California for coverage of the tragic shooting at the Bay Area Rapid Transit Station. It was reporting about systemic problems with the police. Tonight, BART spokesman Linton Johnson sat down with us and for the first time watched the shooting unfold. And then he watched it again. And then he watched it again. Regardless of how this happened or why it happened, um, it, it's a human life. So um, it's incredibly heartbreaking to watch. Johnson emphasized that the BART officer, whose name has still not been released, is presumed innocent until proven otherwise, and that no one should draw conclusions based solely on this video. And accepting the Peabody, News Director Ed Shepley. Thank you. Um, on behalf of KTVU, I want to thank the, uh, the Peabody judges for recognizing us, for covering a very complicated and uh, tragic story. Um, unfortunately, there are no winners in our storyline. Uh, it, uh, it took a true team effort uh, to cover the story, and everyone back in the KTU newsroom contributed. Uh, this is one award that is for really everyone back there. And I would have a bunch of people back behind me, but uh, it's the middle of May sweeps, and sorry. <laughs> uh, there'd be an army behind me, trust me. Um, to cover this story right, it also took leadership and resources. For that vision, I want to thank KTVU General Manager Tim McVeigh and Cox Media Group President Sandy Schwartz who are with us today. Um, this story isn't over. Uh, the trial starts in two weeks, and despite hurdles such as a gag order, a change of venue, no cameras in the courtroom, KTV will be there fighting for access to try to get cameras in the court and try to be there for the viewers and the public. I encourage um, all journalists to keep fighting the good fight, try to uh, get better access to our courts. So these stories deserve to be told. Thank you very much.